Good morning. Today we're going to be doing some Bible journaling. I have Psalms 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight that verse first off with my highlighter here. And I'm going to use some rub-ons. These are from Creative Devotionals, and it's by American Crafts. This is the uh, UPC and the number that you might need to order them. I purchased mine, I believe, from HSN. So I'm going to go ahead and use this circle because it looks like an earth. There we go. Now I'm going to look for a picture on my phone to see if I can find um, a picture of the earth so I can kind of draw something on here that looks like the earth. Okay, so here's a picture of the earth and I'm gonna try to do I need a bigger picture of that. That's good enough. That looks like Earth. All right. So the Earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. So all of us are here on Earth belong to God. He is in charge, and He's the one who loves us so much that He sent His only Son to die so that we might live. And He's the one who makes the rules. Thank you, Lord, for this day and for all the blessings. I pray for all my viewers that you would bless them and fill their heart with the knowledge of you and how much you love them. Thank you, Lord. Okay, I'm going to use this stamp set with these cute little faces. And uh, this is a stamp ability stamp set. It's called Stick Family, item number 384008. I think I purchased this from uh, in store at Hobby Lobby, but I'm pretty sure you can find it online too. So I'm just going to take some of these spaces and put them around the globe. How about a little birdie? The Lord makes the birdies too. And let's see. Maybe a little fishy. <laughs> That's cute. 
Okay, here we go. I think I'm going to use this block. Put them all on there at once. There we go. Then I'm going to use some Ranger Archival ink so that I can stamp this. It's acid-free, permanent, and waterproof in jet black. I'm just going to press this fairly hard because I want to make sure that the image goes through. Very good. Very good. Here's some Prismacolor colored pencils. This is the 12 set of the Prismacolor colored pencils. One of the things I did with this was I put one of those magnets here so that that way it stays together. Let's see here. Um, let's start out with some yellow. I'm going to go ahead and use my heat tool, my Doris heat tool, to make sure that this is dry before I start coloring. <laughs> it looks like something got smudged right there. Now, I don't have a skin tone color in this 12 set, so you know what? I'm going to color all their faces with white first. And don't forget their little ears. I have a tendency to do that when I'm coloring. <laughs> I always forget their little ears or their little necks. And since I am laying over the ink, you can see it's kind of dull. I can go back over that with my uh, Sakura Micron Pigma pen to make those details pop back out again if I want to. Alrighty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my orange and I'm just going to very, very lightly, I'm not even going to press, I'm just barely rubbing. You know what I think I might use red for the baby because I want his skin to look more pink. Okay, let's test this out. Probably going to have to go back over it with the white to blend it. And that looks a little too pink, maybe. If I keep going over it, perhaps it'll take some of that away. That's much better. And I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper here so that I can rub off any remainder of that pink. And I'm going to go over this orange as well. There we go. I just want it to look peachy. I don't want it to look orange. Alrighty.
And you know what? I think for grandma's hair, I want it to look kind of gray. So again, I'll go over this with white. And then I'll use some black in her hair. I'm going to kind of leave it like that because I don't want to fill it in too much. And that may even kind of look like maybe a grandma's fizzy hair. I don't know. Frizzy? Not really, once I blend it. But that looks like gray, I think. So there we go on that one. Oops, you know what? I forgot that little bit down there. That works just fine. Again, using my scratch paper to try to take off the any of the color that mixed there. Okay, now what I want to do is maybe use a little bit of a light brown. This is called Terre de Sien, Sienna Brown. And I'm going to just try to trace the lines in her hair with it to give it more of a two-toned look. Maybe make it look a little natural with maybe some highlights or something. Let's go back in with the yellow. And mix that in. I think that makes it look really nice. Okay. Alrighty. Now let's use some blue for the bluebird. First I'm gonna Nah. First I'm going to do some blue around his face. I'm going to be careful not to get that beak if I can because I want to color that orange. Kill all characters. Kill all Bartie. So adorable. Now you know I'm going to go over that with white. Make it a little more of a pastel color. Now I'm going to come in with the orange for his beak. There we go. Now the fishy. I'm going to come in with a little bit of a darker blue. This is, well, that's violet blue. I don't know. Let me see how this looks. Nah, that's too purple. But let's do my old trick here and see if I can make it work with some white. Here's my with the violet blue, not the violet. Yep, violet blue. Let's color it softly. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Come back in with the white to blend it. There we go. Now, what I'd like to do too I want the glass to look like it's glass, so I'm going to put the white over here and I'm going to come in extremely lightly with this. All right, I wanted to add some journaling to this as well, so I'm going to get right up here at the top. We are his. He loves us. And I'm going to put down dot, dot, dot. John 3, 16 and 17, which says that God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world uh, to condemn the world, but that through him the world might be saved. 
That's John 3, 16 through 17. And I'm doing that from memory, so <laughs> double check it. Anyway, he loves us. And dot, 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 and he dot, 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 makes the rules, but he does so, as I said, in love. The rules for us to live by so that we can experience life more abundantly. So God bless you and have a wonderful day.